welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Jess today's video is going to be a bathroom clean and declutter so I have a ton of decluttering to do in the bathroom this is actually the second time that I'm doing this the first time I ended up filming it but I didn't ever end up sharing it just because I had a new baby at the time and it just kind of got brushed under the rug but this time around I definitely wanted to share with you guys everything that I am decluttering this is part Part of my decluttering mini series so I will link my other decluttering videos that I have done recently down in the description box below for you if you missed those I have already decluttered the kitchen the guest room the guest bathroom a storage closet let's see what else oh my closet which is right back here that was a massive extreme declutter and just super satisfying which it has stayed nice and clean I'm gonna show you guys to prove it <laughs> So yes, today I will be working in our master bathroom and this bathroom tends to get neglected because I try to focus on keeping the rest of the house clean where our little one is playing most of the time. And especially during this quarantine, I have really been able to keep everything really nice and clean and decluttered, which has been really nice. But our bathroom and bedroom usually get put on the back burner. Although, like I said, during this time where we have been home, they have stayed cleaner than normal. So that has been really nice, but I still have so much decluttering to do in this bathroom you guys like there is stuff just shoved under the cabinets so I wanted to bring you guys along with me we are moving here in well now it's been pushed back a little bit so in about a month and a half to two months we think so anyway I just want everything to be ready to go for when we get the all clear to move that way I don't have to think about it as time gets closer because I am pregnant and I already have a little one-year-old so there is just a lot going on here and I don't want to have to stress about the house so I'm trying to use this time to get everything under wraps and just get control of everything here in our home and that way it is easy to move and it just is so much nicer to live in. I can't tell you the last time I've actually been able to keep the house clean, let alone my closet in particular. <laughs> so anyway, let's go ahead and go into the bathroom. It is super echoey in there, which is why I'm out here filming this intro, but I hope you guys enjoy. Again, if you're new here and you like videos like this or anything related to motherhood, lifestyle, home, or family, click that red subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you are motivated or inspired by it. That way I know to make more like this in the future. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to show you guys what I have in here first. Like I said, I will be cleaning today as well. It's been a little bit since I've actually cleaned this bathroom, so it does need a good cleaning, but this is our master bath. There are some things on the counter, but this is where I'm going to be focusing my attention today, the cabinets, and then we do have this little linen closet right here that I will be focusing on as well. So this is what our linen closet looks like. We do keep cleaners up top there, and then typically we just have extra toilet paper down at the bottom, but you can see things are just kind of thrown in here, and we have way too many towels. We definitely don't need to keep all of those. Here is the shower and then the tub. I just have a few things that I need to take care of on this side. So let's take a look at what all of the cabinets and drawers look like ahead of time. All right, so on this side, this is my husband's side of the sink but you can see that it's just a hodgepodge. He put all of my essential oils down here because we weren't sure what we wanted to do with them, so he kind of just shoved them in there, but I do shove a lot of things under the sink as well, so we have all kinds of random things under there. And then over here in the drawers, we have just all kinds of things. That one's actually pretty organized. We do have drawer organizers in here. We just need to utilize them a little bit better. They have not been organized in quite some time. And I have started to move towards more natural or non-toxic products. So I definitely have some things to purge and get rid of. This is actually my drawer with my curling irons and stuff, and as you can see, <laughs> there we go. Everything was kind of stuck because it was shoved in there. So I need to organize this. But you can see I do have some organizers in here. I just don't use them very well. And then on this side, again, we just have a hot mess. So I have a lot of products in some bins back there that I need to reuse, and then just a bunch of random things here up front. Because I'm pregnant, I won't need those tampons for a while, so hey, if anyone needs those. <laughs> 
but anyway, I do have some pregnancy tests, but most of these are just old products that I need to go through. So my hubby is actually at work for a couple of hours and my little one is taking a nap. She went down about 20 to 25 minutes ago. So I'm gonna try to get done as much as I possibly can before she wakes up and then I may have to finish later after my hubby gets home. That's just how it is with these types of videos because it is very hard to declutter when you have lots of little things, especially in here, out and about with a little one running around and wanting to play and put everything in her mouth. <laughs> So we'll see how far we get, but I wanted to show you guys what we're working with and then of course I will be cleaning in here as well, which I'm so excited to not necessarily do, but to feel the after effects of. <laughs> it will just feel so nice and relaxing and I might even take a bubble bath tonight because of it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I know that it still looks like we have way too much stuff, but it definitely feels better and at least it's organized now so that we can see what we actually have. So I'm just using these four bins that were from my previous classroom. And let's see, I have cotton balls, cotton pads, and Q-tips in this one. This is all dental supplies, so extra mouthwash, flossers, and toothbrushes. And then I have my toothbrush heads down there for my electric toothbrush. This is all of Chaz's shaving and hair supplies. And then over here are extra soaps. And then I am going to go ahead and organize this bag here. This is just my toiletries bag and I like to have this ready to go at all times just with my mini items. That way if for some reason I'm traveling, which I won't be anytime soon obviously, but if I am traveling for whatever reason I can just pick it up and go and I know that everything is in there that I will need. So I'm going to organize that. I'll pop that in here as well and then I'm going to move on to the drawers. Okay, so in this drawer, Chaz has his side, I have my side, and then we share a couple of these items like the flossers, and then we really don't need all of these, so I'm actually gonna take out two. I'll leave one big one and one regular sized nail clippers, but the reason that we have so many is because we could never find them, but as long as they're organized, we should be able to find them just fine. So that is what's over here, and then Chaz just has some of his other things over here. So I know it's not the prettiest, but as long as we can find things and we each have kind of our own side up here, it should be easy to keep organized. It's a good day to 
again But life is one big riddle Of the future and what's been Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I am leaving all the bad stuff so this curling iron and this straightener are both not working. They are trash. So I have been holding on to them. I'm not sure why, but I received a new straightener from my mom last Christmas. And oh my gosh, I think 2018 actually. <laughs> and then this curling iron just recently died and I just picked up a new one from Target. So this lasted me for about four years or more but I love the Hot Tools brand anyway, and this is just a chi iron. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of those, finally, because I have now replaced both of them. Remember I was laughing in all the photos that you took But now it looks like acting Like we were fiction in a book Cause it's the way it goes And I will never know Why you let me go Look to the left, look to the right Nothing can stop me in the night Like I'm leaving all the bad stuff And trying to remain so strong I know it's good if I move on I got it, I gotta Okay, so this is all I'm keeping over here and I decided to put my oils on this side because this entire side of the cabinet was empty. That's how many things I got rid of, you guys. So yay! So eventually I would like to have a different organization system for my oils, but at least they're all in one place now and not just shoved somewhere because they were in my top dresser drawer. Then I didn't know where to put them and there was just no room underneath the sink. So now that this whole side was open and empty, since I got rid of so many old and expired products, I finally have a place for them. So over here I have my oils and carrier oils are in the back and then coconut oil up here in the front. These are all of my supplies to make my different oil recipes. Then I have my Epsom salts that I just purchased and then I also have, this is like postpartum, pregnancy, and then a few different lotions, like tanning lotions. And by the way, I wanted to show you guys this new lotion that I got. It is by the brand Chocolate Sun and I got the number two, Coco Glow. This is an all natural, healthy tanning solution. So this was recommended on Living Well Mama and she checks all ingredients of every single thing that she recommends. So love this, can't wait to try it. But I just got that in the mail the other day. I just need to hole punch my recipe cards for my oils and then I will add those into this bin here. All right, so the cabinets and drawers are done. That feels amazing, you guys, so much better. This is everything that I've gotten rid of so far. So expired products, just things that are just gross and old and missing pieces and things like that. So that is almost a whole trash bag full. That's so satisfying. And then of course I have to take the trash out over here. I did put a couple of things in there as well. So we are gonna go ahead and move on over into the linen closet.
right, so I'm gonna get rid of all of these towels. We have way too many towels, you guys. So I am keeping a few as dog towels or just towels for like outside. And then I am gonna change out the hand towels in here. This white one is gonna go in the guest bathroom, but I only kept six towels for Chaz and I to use because that's all that we need if we're staying on top of our laundry. So this is what our linen closet turned out like. I think it looks so much better. I do plan on labeling these pink baskets so that I know which cleaners are in them and we are just gonna use those up before we move. So it feels a lot better in here. We're only gonna keep six towels. I do have another gray one that I'm gonna add to that. And then I do have a couple of hand towels that I need to wash as well. So those will go in here once they are clean. And then I do have my stash of toilet paper and I have some Kleenex in the back as well. So I do have a lot of toilet paper under the guest bathroom sink as well. So we should be good for a while, but I just wanted them ready to go. So little miss is still sleeping, but I do think she's going to wake up soon because she's been moving around a little bit. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Through our phone. 
tonight No, I'm here by your side So tell me where are you now When your head is in the clouds I wanna find out now Cause I'm vibing with all we have Yeah, I'm feeling what we are now I'm laying down on the ground All I do is thinking out loud Yeah, I'm vibing with all we have all I do is thinking out loud Cause I'm riding with these emotions Stumbling out of bed One hell of a roller coaster we are done. I know it's super echoey in here, but I am so glad to be done. I am so grateful for my sweet hubby. He is awesome and he is so helpful. So everything is decluttered in here and organized and we're just going to use up what we have before we move. I don't want to buy anything else if we already have something that we can use. So I ended up getting rid of, wait for it, 105 items, you guys, just out of my bathroom today. So that really just blows my mind. A lot of them were just expired products or things that were like half opened and just really gross and grody and ugh, just stuff that I was not going to use. And then of course, you know, there were some other things that were just trash. And then I did set aside some things for donations like towels and there was something else. Oh, some of the organizers that I didn't end up using. So I did get rid of 105 items. So now I am up to, wait, hold on. Let me grab my notebook and I'll let you guys know what I'm up to right now. All right, so I write everything down in my notebook and my goal was 500 items for our entire house. I was at 727, let's see if I can sit down. <laughs> I was at 727 items before I even started in the bathroom today. And today I decluttered or got rid of 105. So I am up to 832 items total, you guys. So I have way surpassed my goal. We still have not decluttered the laundry room, my work closet, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that in a separate video or I don't know. There's a lot of personal things in there as well. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on camera, but we definitely still need to declutter the garage and you guys, it is so full. Like we can't even park in there. So if that gives you any idea as to how much work we have to do, then yes, that is, Ooh, that's going to be a task. So what I'm going to do for that one is I'm going to film that over a period of time as we are able to declutter that. Because our move did get pushed back about a month or so, we have a little bit of extra time. So you probably won't see a declutter video for a couple of weeks or so, possibly a little bit longer. We'll just have to see how everything kind of plays out when we tackle that garage because we have a lot of work to do in there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, sorry for the echo in here, but I hope this was super satisfying for you guys. And I hope it gave you some cleaning and decluttering motivation as well. Let me know down below if you guys have been able to get some cleaning and declutter and organizing done during this quarantine because having Chaz home here with me for a little bit longer even though he is still having to go into work occasionally it does help because I am able to tackle these bigger tasks where he's able to help me or sometimes he just watches Eliana while I can work and you know we just kind of bounce <laughs> back and forth playing with her and things like that so anyway let me know how it's going for you guys I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video Bye. I'm ending up so clueless. What are you trying to find? I'm running with these emotions. Tell me what do you want?